Good morning, everybody. Happy Saturday. We are setting up. It is seven something in the morning. And look, Mr. Sun is out. Thanking God for that. We are here setting up, getting ready for our family picnic. And then we turn around and see some intruders. And then we turn around and see some intruders. Keep inching their way over here. How do you get rid of these? Not like kill them, but how do you get rid of them? Because they're slowly creeping over here. But yeah, ready to have a good day. God's grace. Get out of here, ha ha ha. It's the the geese for me. They gotta go. We, it's not child family reunion. Okay. I hear a dog, and this one right here heard the dog too. I'm scared of these geese. Get shoo. Here is the lady of the hour. Hi, friends <laughs> and family. So she's setting up. It is now. 8 30 in the morning i'm tired i ain't go to bed until 3 a.m but it's all right we have let me show y'all what we got set up mama got so far so we put the tablecloths on they gave us some extra tables this year those down there under the tree some back here and the ducks are finally gone but look at all this stuff. Y'all, she rents a whole U-Haul every year. I call it extra. <laughs> this lady then brought, she has a warmer, two generators. Luckily, that's a good generator too. Tailgater. Luckily, it has um, some electricity. There's two ports, but this is a whole warmer here. Ain't no telling what's in there. She done brought pots and pans from home. All these GFS bags full of food. We got, what we got, my fish. Fish, chicken, beef ribs, pork ribs, beef, frank. We got pork ribs, beef shrimp. ribs. She frying some shrimp. shrimp. She frying some fish. So she fries fish every year alongside the grill. Let's show this grill. So this grill is literally going to be going like all day. The other generator. That's, that's the other cute little generator. She got her frying oil. She got her charcoal. She has water, you know. Um, I think there's a pump right here. Let me see if this, does this pump work this year? We had trouble with it. I think it was working, but we just didn't know how. But yeah, the pump is working. So you don't see that often, a water pump at your campsite. Then there's another grill over there. They cut the grass, so that is good. We have, let me give y'all a tour. So she has all of this stuff. The whole warmer, the whole um, air fryer, fish fryer. She got extension cords. I'm not even gonna begin to open that bag, but she's still unloading. She done brought house fans, house fans. So this is where the food is gonna be. It's gonna be a station. This is not a double station. This is just a one-sided station. So we're gonna have baked beans, 
macaroni and cheese, potato salad, pasta salad, chicken, yeah. shrimp, corn, um, what else, mama? Um, corn, pork ribs, beef ribs, burgers, shrimp pasta, she said shrimp pasta bake, turkey burgers, um, veggie burgers, veggie baked beans, mac and cheese, I hope I said that first. And yeah, so everybody's gonna start coming out at two. I just wanted to give you all a, an overview. So we just put the little citronella candles on each table. And mama not playing. She's like, we're not using no plastic tablecloths. We never do, but these are cloth tablecloths. So we had to set them up banquet style. She got all this bread going on. She ain't playing. She didn't went, she didn't bought the bakery. Those are all the buns. And this is just the pre-stuff because family and friends are supposed to be bringing drinks, desserts, and whatever else we assign them. You know, you gotta assign the family members to what you know they can put their foot in. So, little Lily can't make the macaroni if that's not her ministry, okay? So, waiting on all that good food. Right here is where we're gonna have the sodas. We're waiting on another cooler. And in here, we always bring the kiddie pool and we put the kids um, drinks in there. So it'll be filled with ice. It'll be filled with ice and the little juices. Right here is going to be the cold station. Right here is the cold station, which we're going to put a tablecloth on here. So you'll get your hot food, then you'll come right here to the cold station, you grab your drink, and then you go have a seat. Then you can just keep going and then you'll get to the open bar. And here is some wine, it's some coolers, some beer back there in the in the cooler on the ground. And of course, as people come throughout the day, they'll be bringing ice and more drinks. You have mixed drinks back there. So yeah, then over there is, we're in a farm park. And they have little hay rides, but it's down right now, but it's really nice, pumpkin patch. But there's some more sitting under this beautiful tree over here is actually a horse stable and you can actually rent horses and you can ride them and the ducks are gone or geese they're gone they left one behind so i don't know what's going on with him but he's chilling some more table seating out here there's another shelter beyond that playground there but as you can see it's so beautiful it's so open so bad so we're gonna get a kickball game going on we're gonna set up cornhole we brought hula hoops we have um a live dj for part of the day then we'll be spotifying it all day so yeah that's pretty much it let me go ahead and finish unloading my car let me go to sam's of course we have grip loads we're going to go to Sam's and then we're going to set up. games here i'm fully aware that i'm gonna be copyrighted today so it is what it is because we are about to turn off this good music but we have um some games for the kids we're gonna do a tug of war i wanted to get the rope from lowe's they wanted like 30 to 100 dollars depending on the thickness and the length of the rope but this was 10.98 from lowe's and it's 50 feet I'm just gonna add a little flag or a sock in the middle for tug of war. We're gonna play bingo game for prizes. And mom came up with this good idea that we should do split the pot. That way it'll pay for the park for next year. 
nobody's really coming out of their pockets and then somebody will go home with a pocket full of money today for dollar tickets so we're gonna do that we have the basketball here we have the hula hoops out there a little bootleg cornhole back there i might bring the other one from home but it's heavy what y'all know about the clickety clack rope so we got to get some french going we got the little dollar store ropes for the little girls because they can go on and tangle them and keep those we want to do some tennis or some volleyball but nobody ever knows how to put up the volleyball net maybe this year we have bubbles for the kids we have we got these little horseshoe um games it is like four heavy horseshoes so yeah these are the little plastic stakes they go on the ground and then they have the horseshoes and this is good quality y'all if you have a five and below near you go and cop this it is no people say cop anymore but go ahead and get these horseshoes they're heavy the kids can play the grown-ups can play so i'm going to hook that up then we have something for ring toss if they want to do that they can do that with the stakes as well we have the old scoop paddle balls the little balls teach the kids how to do that and you can't have those without the jacks so we got jacks i don't even know if these kids know how to play jacks but they can get it we're gonna be doing some jacks today we got uno we got a checkerboard for the table. This is a little badminton thing. Flying football. These are the hacky sacks for the toss, for the cornhole. And this goes with the tennis racket. But I don't, I've never seen anybody play that. We have frisbee, some more jump ropes. A little wiffle ball, basketball, and we have the hacky sack. So we're gonna do our hacky sack races too. Oh so yeah, that's what we have going on. Let me go to Walmart to pick up a few things and then I'll see you guys later.